everyone. It's Coach, Coach Bernard again. Uh, and today I'm going to take you through a PE session. And uh, my main focus today is about the younger ones, uh, the guys who are in, in pre-prep. And before we start the session, these are the things that we need for our session. Uh, a tennis racket, if you don't have one, I'll show you what you can use instead of a tennis racket. And uh, a ball, like this one. And then uh, we need a small ball too, a tennis ball, or you can use one like this, orange. And then uh, exercise books, if you have at home, I know you guys have them. And then uh, for me, I'll use these bibs, but you can use you can use a t-shirt and uh, try and find different colors. Here I have one bib is yellow in color. And the other one is uh, blue in color. And then uh, I have my jumping rope with me, uh, but you can use a string or you can use a straight line at home. Very important. And then uh, you can use a, a pair of stocking or, or, or a sock if you have, and, uh, and a bucket. something simple so we start by jogging on the spot and you can see I'm raising my knee up show you from this side so everyone please join me well done from your hands up there on the side to the side down there well done everyone let's jog again nice it's good nice and easy can you join me Well done. And then, once you're done with that, I know your body is warm already. So what I'll do, I'll show you a few uh, sports movements that you guys need. That's the reason why we do PE, so that you guys become good, good, good at sports. So what I'll do, I'll start by showing you guys how to run. And uh, you don't need a big space. Find somewhere where you can get at least 10 meters. I'm going to show you the technique of running. And it's very simple. This is how you set up to there. When you get to this side, turn. And as you can see, I'm running. You can see me pumping my arms up and, move, and, and lifting my knees. You can see me doing that. Let me show you from this angle. You can see that. Let me show you again. Well done. The next one, I'm going to, I'm going to do a demo for you guys. And then you, you're going to join me after the demo. It's very simple, skipping. There, you can see, I'm driving my knee up. There, change. Nice and easy. Let me show you from this angle and make sure you're using your arms. See that? Up there. Well done. Let's do the exercise with you guys. Join me for the exercise. Turn. Last one. Nice. The next exercise will be very simple. I'm going to do hopping, but at first, before we start, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a demo of what you guys are supposed to do at home, uh, and then you guys can join me. And we can continue doing it together. Very simple. So one, we start on our, on our right or on our left foot, and then move on to our, to our right foot. Nice and easy. Yeah, and when you're doing it, the key thing is every time you're hoping, try and make them 
up in a straight line. So, so let us not let us avoid doing this. You being everywhere, this will, this will make, that will make you lose your balance. Nice and easy. I'm gonna show you from this angle. You can see I'm using this line. You can see every time I'm doing it, my foot is landing on the line. Let me show you with this other leg. Nice and easy. Do you guys join me for this exercise? And let us do it for three rounds. Nice and easy. Well done. Nice. Let's do the last one. Very good. The next exercise should be very simple. So we'll do jumping, really important. What we'll do, we start us facing that side, and then I'll come and show you another one facing the camera. This is very, very easy. So what you do is make sure every time you're, you're jumping, there, not too wide, and if you bring them together, then this will be a problem. So slightly, to make sure there's a slight space in between your knee. There. Then every time you're jumping, make sure the key thing is both of them, they have to move at the same, at the same, look at that, at the same time, at the same time. So that is the key thing to look, so let me do a demo, and then you guys can join me for the video, nice and easy, I'll show you from this side, as you can see, both of them moving at the same, there, 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 you can turn, let me do one from this other side, there, 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 there. Let me show you from the front side so that, so that, so that you can start together. You see me landing there and see, not too, not, not wide, not not together. Because if you do that, then it will be a clash of your of your knee. So we don't want that to happen. So every time, make sure there's a small space. Now join me for the video, please. Nice and easy. Let's do three. Done. Second one. Last one. Well done. Once you've done that, what we'll do, we'll try and walk on a straight line. And this time, very easy. See, I'm using the line. Or it doesn't have to be a line. You can use a water bottle like this one. I know you guys have it at home, or you can use uh, your shoes to make sure you align them on a straight line. Very important because you're looking for alignment. Nice and easy. So over here, I'm lucky I have a line, so I'll show you a demo of what we're supposed to be doing, and then you guys can join me for the exercise. Nice and easy. Yeah. Nothing complicated. And you can turn. I want you guys to you see is you see every time I'm doing that so both of my toe so the left one and the right one they're pointing the same direction so I'm moving to that direction so my left toe is pointing that direction and my right toe is pointing that direction and as you can see you can see from the camera see that very important well done. So guys, join me for the exercise. And then both we can do it together. Let's do another three more. Nice and easy. And the reason why we're using this is to give us that balance. So, so if you keep them over here, and then you want to work on a, you'll find yourself, you know, everywhere. So we don't, so to stop that, what, what must we do? There, like a plane. Plain as one, a bad as one, to give you stability. There.
nice and easy. Change. Go for the last one. Very nice. Look at that. Very nice. And when they're doing this, this exercise, I know there's a guardian at home or a parent at home. Uh, so just make sure they're on that switch line. Uh, very important. We want them to enjoy it, but at the same time, learn uh, what you're teaching them. Very, very important. Now, the next one, we'll move to the fun part, and I'll, uh, I'll be the teacher. And I'll use Coach David as the student. Coach David, please come in. Just, just leave it down on this one, if this. This is how you set up. So, so uh, the reason why Coach David is kneeling down is, uh, is a bit taller than, uh, than most guys in pre-prep. Almost everyone in pre-prep. So, uh, so, so for him to, to, to be of the same size like you guys, I have to make him kneel. So I'll be the parent, I'll be the parent or the, or the guardian at home. What we're doing over here, as we're working on their, on their reaction, on their reaction time. So I have two bibs with me. There's one yellow and there's one blue. Now, you guys at home, you'll be using t-shirts. If you have bibs, then you guys are lucky. So what you do is very simple. So what you're doing over here, so I'm going to drop one of these. You have to you have to catch it. Okay. Yeah, so so you want to see how good is your reaction time. Nice and easy. Ah, ready. So I'll show you a demo and then and then you guys can can join me for the video and then we can continue. Uh, so Coach David, are you ready? I'm good to go. So I'm the teacher or the okay. guardian uh, or the parent, Coach David is a student. Uh, you look, look up, Coach David, you have to look up, you have to look up, look, look up. See that? Very nice. See that? Working on reaction. You have to be quick. Your reaction time is slow. You're not. Going, you're not going to be able to catch to catch anything. See that? Last demo. Well done. So what I want you guys at home to do is, uh, could maybe just stay the way you are. So let us catch five on the left and five on the right. And uh, but the, but the student has to work for it. So the, so so the, so the teacher or the parent is not going to tell them which side they're going to drop. So you have to you have to you have to be looking, you have to be uh, and you have to be quick to catch it. But David, are you ready? I'm good. Yes. Ready to go. So it's random. It's not that I'm going to drop this side. So I'll drop, but you have to count. Okay, you have to know how many points. You... And guys, so let's say every time you you, you you make a successful catch, you'll be given five points. Okay. So if you catch uh, two on the on the left side, then you have ten points. If you catch three on the left side, on the on the other side. Then you'll you have 15 points so that will become a total of uh, 25 but if you can get 30 that is what you're looking for so you guys get ready i'll give you a few seconds to be ready and then coach david are you ready good I'm and ready. let's start he has five <laughs> he has 10 he has 15 he has 20 well done, 25, there, 30, so it's already there, but you can get more, always look to get more points, okay, not because, uh, so we wanted 30, now we, we stay at 30, no, if you can get more, more points, remember I said 5 on each side, so if I, can, if I can make 25 on this side, and 25 on this side, then I'll end up having how many points, 50 points, yeah, so Coach David, how many points do you have? Uh, 30. Uh, so the student has 30 points and then we have, uh, we, have a, we have a couple of rounds to go so uh, can we continue yeah ready well done. oh nice <laughs> oh well done good job nice the last one well done 50 points 
and it's something that you can enjoy at home and the reason why we're doing this is to work on, on, on your, your reaction time and awareness very very important don't be if you want to come good in, uh, in sports now the next uh, exercise you're going to do still will be the parent and uh, coach David is going to be the student and over here we're going to work with colors I told you uh, for me I have I have one in yellow and one in blue you can use uh, make sure you're using your t-shirts so it's very simple so but this time it's about orientation so yes I'm going to call a color and he has to he has to catch that color okay so if I if I call yellow coach David you have to you have to catch coach catch yellow so okay yeah. and I'm, I'm, okay am I supposed to say anything you are not supposed to say okay. anything okay so you okay. just you are there only catching only catching okay yellow well and you can see that Yellow. Hey. Oh, you see, that is, that is what I was looking for. So, so be careful, so we don't want that to happen to you. So every time you are watching that color. So if if I call yellow, you if if something else drops that is not yellow, so don't go for it, okay? So Coach David, I don't know you know how this game is being played. So can we play it properly? Uh, let's go. Uh, so everyone, please join me. Uh, this one is a bit, it's, it's a bit difficult, but, but I know you guys can do it. We have been doing this with you guys, and I know you guys are good at it. So, okay. first, uh, can, I, can I ask something, Coach? Uh? Coach? Yes, yes. So, if you say yellow, yeah. they're not dropping yellow. So, you don't go for it. So, I say like this. Yeah, you have, you, yeah. So, you, you have, your job is but to catch, your, your job is to, your job is to catch the color that I'm calling okay. out, okay? That is, so, okay. That, so that is really important. So, you have to keep in mind that. Okay. Uh, so, nice and easy. Uh, blue. Nice, see that? Blue, well done. Yellow. Yes. Oh, 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 the student has failed again. <laughs> nice, very nice. <laughs> now I, I know you guys. It's, it is one exercise that you guys are going to enjoy at home. So we'll move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is very simple. And uh, what we'll do? Yes. Just a minute, Coach Bernard, to yeah. add something. Yeah. But uh, if you. If a uh, kid can use a maybe a tennis ball, is it okay? Yeah, you can use a tennis ball. It, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be a t-shirt or a bib. Make it a bit challenging. Yeah, you can. Yeah. If you if you become good at this, then I think the parent or the guardian at home can introduce a ball. Uh, like with me, I have. Uh, I think so the small ones. I think they are over here, Coach David. So, oh, yeah. uh, as you can see, I have I, at the beginning. So I told you that we might need this. And you can see, so instead of using uh, using a t-shirt or or, or or you can use um, you can use balls. You can see I have different colors. You can be dropping them. So orange, green. So it's it's. Can you do demo for them? Yeah, I can you do mind? a demo for them. I yeah, don't no mind doing it. Oh, no worries. So, so on your knees. Okay. Yeah. And so, guys, remember the reason why Coach David is on his knees is because he's a bit tall. So we have to make him you no know, uh, shorter by making him kneel. So okay. it's very simple. So with this, I have I have green and I have orange in color so very simple so which one are you going to start with? uh so I'm because going to call I'm, I'm, I'm going to call a color so, uh, so you have to, so, so okay. and, and for you guys to get this exercise it's very simple you have to be looking up over there so you can see and, and and very important and you're looking up you have to be looking in between because if you pick one and then you might forget about the other one so very important Coach David are you ready I'm good to go so you have to be looking up okay. and make sure you're looking at the middle of there so orange you can see that nice and easy green well done orange nice green well done orange you can see that it's a, it's a it's a fun exercise for you guys at home i know you guys are going to enjoy that and then the next one will be very simple so uh the next one will be uh will be throwing throwing so so we have a target and this one is very simple. I know you guys have a bucket at home. So I'll put my racket on the side and then uh, get my bibs inside it. I'm going to use this as a target. And that's the reason why we need the exercise book. So, uh, Coach David, please move. Thank you. Yes. So there, so that is my target. And what you can do uh, at home, very simple. Uh, check your book. There, as you can see, nice and easy. From there, you can you can get pages. See that? One. I have the second one with me. I have the third one. I have the fourth one. Fifth. 
six. Nice and easy. And then you can keep the fish away. Good, okay. And then uh, from this, you can be creative and form something like a ball like this. Once I have six of them, very easy. So here's my target. You can use a bucket or a chair at home. What I'll do, I'll move a couple of presses behind. Uh, so the first one, um, so we start with the underarm. And, uh, and as a parent or a, or a guardian at home, you can stand, uh, you can stand behind the bucket. And, we are, and, and, and the most thing that, we, that we're looking for is them yes enjoying at the same time. So we want them to, to, be, to become technically good. So I'll move like uh, three pieces behind, and it's very easy. And you can see if, I'm, if every time you're throwing something with your with your right hand, so your your left leg just to lift. You can see my left leg out there. And you can see my toe, my, my 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 left toe is pointing at my target. Nice and easy. There, so there, swing my arm behind there. I'll show you a demo. So every time, so this is how you're supposed to set up there. You can see there. There. If you can get a direct hit, very good. Well done. Nice. Nice. And you can see from the demo, demo it's something easy and it's something that you guys are going to enjoy at home. And then you can, uh, for them to feel good about it, you can bring in the, the point system. Uh, so you tell them every time you, uh, so you throw something and then it touches the bucket you get five points or ten points and i know if you if you tell them that we all want we all want to, to have to have those big scores so it, it is something that is going to push them uh to, to get to get this right at the same time enjoy it. so so i'm done with my demo so i think you guys can join me uh, and then we can do this together so the first uh, so the first step i'll start uh, three paces behind uh, it's some somewhere over there uh, same technique remember it's all about enjoying at the same time you know becoming technically good about it so nice and easy so Coach David, how many points uh, are you so going to give me? I'm going to give you five points. Every time I touch the bucket, five every points? Time, yeah. So everyone has heard about it. So every yeah. time you touch the bucket, you get five so, points. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Uh, so I'm ready to start. So can you, you guys can start with me. Five. Ten. Hey. Oh, I missed one. No point. Nice. And you can see the technique. See there, every time, um, every time you're throwing it, so you see I'm pointing at the bucket, okay? So, so let us avoid, you know, if, if, if your finger is pointing up, then the, it will go off target. So every time you're throwing, make sure you're pointing at your target. That is how you, that, that is how you, you, you finish through. Now, I'm going to do my last one. So how many points are, uh, do I have? You have 20 points. I have 20 points. Yeah. This, this is my last one. There, nice and easy. Oh, Good. yes, well done. So you, so, you can see. Uh, very simple. Out of uh, out of six, uh, six. I, I I got thirty points, and it's something that is going to make your child happy at home. And they say so. At the same time, they're learning how to count and adding, and you know, at the same time, they're getting physical fit, and that, and, that, and, that. and that's the whole point of, of doing this. Now the next one. Um, so so let's say they get they get uh, out of six, they get uh, they get all of them. So let's, they, they'll get to thirty. Uh, you can increase the challenge, you know, by this time. So, so you can see at the first time I was doing that. So we can stand on the side and you can make them throw on the side. This is going to be a bit difficult. Remember, it, it is always good to, to challenge yourself. Okay, it does not make everything becomes e easy for us over there. So the parent still stays behind. So you can tell uh, you, your, your your kid uh, to, to, to 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 face to stand on the side. And you can see over here, nice and easy. Same technique. I'm throwing. Forces different but same technique so every time i throw and, and this is a demo every time i throw my fingers are pointing where at my target so we don't want to be pointing somewhere else if we do that then we are going to lose our we are going to you know we're going to miss our target very simple so i'll do three of i'll do a demo of three and then you guys can join me for the uh, so that we can do together so are you ready 
Bring attention. See that? Pointing at my target. See that? Oh, missed it. Didn't get it. There. See that? Nice. Well done. And you can see from my demo, it doesn't matter if it goes up here or on the side, but I uh, try and tell them to, 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 to hit it on the side, but if, even if it goes up there, no problem. Uh, so uh, our main focus is, is for them to get that technique and at the same time score points. Now please join me for the video. So I have six, I'll be standing on my side, nice and easy. You see that? Pointing at my target. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There, you can see. You see there, I'm turning my body, okay, there. Nice and easy, you can see. My hip rotation is there, very important. Well done. And, and, and you can see it's something that they can enjoy at home and it, it's, some, some, it's very easy. A bucket like this or a chair at home, very nice. Now the next one uh, that we're going to make them do is very simple. So for you to teach someone to throw um, a ball or something, it has to be under your shoulder or over your shoulder. And you can see, and you can see, it's very important. Once they, 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 they get used to this, uh, this type of exercise, it becomes easy for them. Every time they go out there to compete with these other schools, then it becomes easy for them because your mind knows about it. So every time uh, you are required to do it, it becomes easier for you, okay? So it's always something strange to you. But the next one be very simple. So uh, the reason I am moving a bit behind it is because every time we're throwing something over our shoulder, it has to be that should be a bit far from us. The reason why we go for over the shoulder, so we want to add a bit of power. So under the shoulder, you're not going to get a lot of power, but over your shoulder, you're going to get a bit of uh, you're going to get you're going to get extra power. And for this exercise, it's just that feeling of them. You know, you don't have to hit the target, but uh, it's good to have a target for, for them there. So what? Uh, so what? It, it, it teach them how to you know rotate the, uh, the arm above your, uh, their shoulder and throw something, a uh, ball or an object, becomes uh, very easy. So the same setup, every time you're throwing something, you have to decide on and you can see. So every time my left leg is leading and my right my right leg is, is, is then there, acting uh, acting as a base and, and you see, I'm nicely balanced, there. You can see I have the balance, nice and easy. Now, so you, you move behind, let's say 10 meters. So point at the target, you can see my, you can see my body alignment there. My, I'm not using this arm to throw, but it is giving me where it is showing me where my target is. Nice and easy. See that? You throw the ball there. You can see that. And you see at my follow through. Look at my demo. See there. Nice and easy. Oh, missed one. You can see from my target every time, so I'm starting with my left leg and then my follow through, my right leg has to come through. So that, that, that's the reason why we, we call it follow through. So every time, every time you throw something, you can't throw it and, and remain the same. So you have to have that follow through. So you can see, uh, the, you, can see you can take a look at my footwork. So, so when I started throwing the, the, uh, the ball, so my, leg, my left leg was, was pointing there. And then when, I, when there's that hip rotation, where I get my follow through, you can see now, my my right my, my, my right leg is leading. Uh, so what? So from that demo, I want us to try and do uh, three of them, and then uh, let me move on to the next one. Uh, so yep. Everyone ready? Can they join me? So let's start. You can see at my follow through. Look at that hip rotation. Nice and easy. Make sure every time they're throwing it, make sure there's that, that hip rotation. It is what is going to give them uh, that transition that you're looking for, the follow through that we're talking about. I have three more. Oh, missed one. Eyes. Eyes. And you can see something that your kid or your child at home is going to enjoy. Um, and the main objective is to make them enjoy and the same, and, and the same time learn. So the next exercise will be very simple. I'll, I'll, use, I'll use a ball. I think I have one in my bucket. I'm lucky I have a bucket. So I hope uh, you're going to use your uh, I'm using mine as a stop. Yeah, you can see that? All of my stuff is in there. It's 
the next one is very sim uh, very simple i know finding a ball like this at home easy i know most of you guys are uh, you guys are have, you have it now what you'll do i'm going to work on your rhythm very very easy so what i'll show you a demo of what you're supposed to be doing so this is how you set up ball there and uh, the main objective is to bounce the ball there you can see there you can see and you can see my palm is the one that is doing it okay there I'll show you from this angle so that is our demo for, for, for two ones uh, so let's join me and then let's do this let's do five of this look All done. And then the next one, nice and easy. So we'll go on one hand. Same, working on rhythm. Change to that other hand. Very important. At home, make sure you're looking. I'm doing that. Pay attention. Nice. Now, I think... Uh, I think these are the things that you, know, you can make your, your, your children do at home and things that, that, that they're going to enjoy. And the reason why we do this is so we want to be physically fit. And if you're physically fit, you, 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 your body will become healthy. And that's, uh, and that's P and sports for you guys. Now, thank you everyone. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.